This is Steve Pastilla from P2 Automation. Today I want to show you how we use the Click Dimensions Form Builder tool to create web forms on our own website that tie directly into our CRM system. If you go to our website at www.p2automation.com and click on Contact Us, you'll come to a basic web form. Any information that's entered in this form is automatically tied to CRM as a new lead. And what I want to do today is enter one new field on this form. Right now it's just showing basic information, first name, last name, but I want to enter a field so prospects and customers can enter what they're looking for, just a basic memo box. So what I'm going to do is go to our CRM system, and just like any form, you want to create a field, and then you can put the field on the form. And it's no different here in the Click Dimensions tool. So I'm going to click on Form Fields, and you'll see a list of fields that are already on the form. And then you'll see this comments field that I entered earlier, and I'll click on that. And all I need to do is create a name for the field, and then a form name, which isn't really needed for the form builder tool, but if uh, there's two types of forms you can use. So you want to use something like TXT for text box followed by the field name, and then the field type. And you can put in email fields, text fields. I'm going to do what's called a text area field, which is a, a bigger text field from, for entering memos. You can put numbers, URLs, decimals, etc. And then we want to tie the information from this field to a field on the lead. And I'm going to tie this right in with the description field. And I'm going to do the same thing on contact. And the reason I do that is this person may already be in our system. And if they are, it doesn't create a duplicate record. Um, it'll actually tie the information in with the existing record. So I create the field. And the next thing I want to do is go to our web content section. And I have a few forms on here, but I'll go to the Contact Us form. And then I'm going to click the Design button. This is the layout of my existing form. And what I'm going to do over here on the right-hand side is I'm going to see the one new field that's not there, and I'm going to simply drag it over onto the form, and then click Save and Close. A few minutes later, the information is on the website. If you'd like to learn more about how you can use the Form Builder tool on your website, go to our website, www.p2automation.com, and click the Contact Us link.